Hi everyone, what's Gucci? It's AJ here again, and today I want to make a video about Rails View Helpers. Quickly, before I explain more, I'm going to make a new Rails project. I'm using Rails 4.1.0, but if you're using a different version, these probably won't change much, so feel free to use a different version. I use the T option to skip testing. That has nothing to do with this project. I just don't like it, and it doesn't waste as much time creating the project. So after this finishes, I'm going to CD and do helpers, and I'm going to launch RubyMine, which is my IDE that I use, but you could run it in anything that you wanted to. It loads. Anytime soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on methods like truncate, pluralize, titleize, uh, two sentence, two currency, and uh, two human. And what that is going to allow us to do is great. Just give it a second. Everything's going to load, and everything's going to be okay after I delete these errors that we mine always generates. So I've got my app here. And quickly, we're just going to generate a scaffold, which is a quick kind of um, CRUD application. It's, um, you know, create, read, update, delete. So Rails G scaffold, and we'll make it a zombie. And we're going to give it a name, which defaults the string. We're going to give it an age, which is an integer. And we'll give it, let's see, a, um, we'll give it a last name too. And that will be a string. Okay, and now we're going to go into our routes folder quickly. And when we go into our routes folder, we've got resources zombies, but I'm going to do I'm going to make my root and I'm going to change it to zombies hashtag #index. And now I'm going to run rails s to quickly see that everything is perfectly okay. And upon doing that, I'm going to go on localhost 3000. And I did forget to do one thing. I forgot to do rake db migrate. That's something you always have to do after you create a scaffold because it creates the, the model and the migration for, to create that table in the database. In our case, the zombie model. Now we'll run Rails S again. Don't be a dummy and um, do your migrations, kids. But soon, okay, so now, this is my page right here. We've got the zombies up and everything looks good. Let's see if I can create a zombie quickly. Name AJ age uh, 32, 43, and then I will name it Lincoln after my favorite president, and I'll click create zombie. And there you go. And I can edit it or go back and we'll go back here. Okay, so simply, right there, there we go. So now we're going to go into our views. Let's go into our index view, which is what I set as the route here. And we're going to be using some of our helpers. So the first thing you can do is you can do something called plural pluralize. So you can do so before everything right here, I can do listing how many zomb I can do listing zombies dot count. And so what I can do is zombies dot all dot count and what that will do is it will list the count of the zombies but if I add zombies right here it can look kind of if I do this so let me do this again and let me update my web page and what did it not like uninitialized constant action view says zombies you know what it didn't like about that it's supposed to be zombie because I sometimes don't pay attention to pay your PlayStation. So pay attention. So it says listing one zombies. Well, that's grammatically wrong, right? It should be listing one zombie. So this is where we can use pluralize. So instead, we can say, we can get rid of all of this, and I can do, I can do listing zombie dot count with, I forgot to declare as the pluralize function here, and 
make sure the parentheses go around everything. And so I have the number and then my second parameter is the word I want. So I want zombie in the plural form. So I give the plural form zombie.count plural form and then we'll reload this page and it says listing one zombie. Now let me create a new zombie here, Bob 12. Um, what's up? Create zombie. Zombie was created, so now I'm going to go back. Listing two zombies. So it went from listing one zombie to listing two zombies. So it identified if it was plural, if it was singular, and it changed that automatically for us. And Rails can be pretty smart. You know, if you have a different word that's not just with an S at the end, like the plural form isn't just an S added. For instance, um, I don't, I don't, I can't think of one at the time, but um, people, there's people and then there's persons. Usually Rails is good enough to figure that out. So that's pretty awesome. So that's pluralize, and you can use that when you're initializing, you know, how many things there are. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is we're going to look at. We can look at a uh, two sentence here, or we can look at created that. Oh, I know we can look at we can do. So let me add another we can add another kind of thing about the zombie. And what the zombie will do and this thing will say how long it was created to go at. So another method we can use time ago, time ago in days, time ago in words, and that will tell us zom and we'll pass it the zombie when it was and the date. So we give it the time ago in words. So what it does is it takes the date object of when it was created, the date time object, and it's going to print it out very nicely for us. So instead of some let me just actually let me get rid of this quickly and then I'll refresh this page and we'll see what happens. And so it gives you that horrendous date, you know, the exact time, UTC, blah, blah, blah. You can try it out yourself. And then I'll add time ago in words. I'll put that back. I'll refresh the page and then I'll say time ago, four minutes. It was made four minutes ago. So it's pretty nice. You know, if you had hours, it would do hours ago. So that is pretty awesome. And this video is going on for a pretty long time since I did that four minutes ago, right? So another thing you can do is with the age right here you can all you also have a helpful method called number to currency which is right here and what that will do is it will make your age a currency so even though age is an integer it took the number 43 and it made it to in a very it assembled it and figured out you know how it can be arranged as currency so two decimals um with a death two added zeros at the end because you want to know how many cents and then a dollar sign in front of it making it look very nice okay also something so let's say I'm just gonna make up I'm gonna change I'm gonna make this a huge number right here and we'll make it huge and so instead you can also use number to human let me see number two human and what that does is it makes it readable to a human so even if it's a very large number it will say it took that huge number and just made it 12.3 trillion so now you can understand instead of reading one two three four five six seven eight nine eight seven six five four three two one so pretty cool and what else can I show you guys so I showed you that oh the probably one of the most important methods here is let's say I had a string here let me just do something cool something you can do cool in Ruby here is if you have a string you can multiply it so I'm just gonna multiply a string by 100 and not show you guys my Facebook by accident and as you can see I multiply it their last names by a huge number but what we can do here is we can truncate it and what truncate will do is after a certain length it will just stop so in truncate's case let's just call truncate and there's additional options you can pass the truncate we can call truncate update it and as you can see here after a predetermined set it it stopped it made it a lot shorter and it added a dot 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 you know including you know something's different right there and what also we can do is we can also add a length descriptor so i can pass in length as a symbol and I can say I only want the length to be three characters and now we're gonna refresh this and now the length was only three characters which ended up being just the dot 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 so let's make that five and now I got the first two letters because well now we we didn't just want the dot 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 at the end so you've got pluralize uh, time ago in words number to currency number to human and there's also title lies so what title lies does is let me show you guys I'll just do it right here 
let's say I have uh, AJ Babo or whatever I have Abraham Abraham Lincoln and it kind of looks um, both the A and the L are not capitalized and I just want to uh, titleize it. Well, if I titleize it gotta stop going to Facebook here you notice it says Abraham Lincoln and both the A and the L are capitalized and the last name is properly spaced even though I already had it properly spaced but essentially it identifies that you know this should be a title so every letter should be capitalized it won't capitalize um let's see if we added a two right here it even it capitalizes every first letter on the thing, so you don't have to do that, so you can easily call titleize. Well, that's all the methods for today, guys. I hope I didn't make this video go on too long. You know, I actually want you guys to enjoy this video, but I hope I explained anything. If you have any questions in the description, please ask below. My hope my code was very good. I'll see you guys later.